Good morning. Day 11. So, I understand my video from yesterday was really long. It's like 30 something minutes. Ah, sort of touched on a subject about psychology. Psychology is a big deal. So hopefully you're taking this serious if you're trying to get into this. Because if you just think it's nothing, the market will humble you. If you think you understand it all, the market will humble you. It's okay. It's okay to be okay. I read something the other day that just talked about we are not professional traders, proper professional, profitable traders are not good winners, we're good losers. We don't manage winners well, we manage losers better. So that's a big, it's a different mindset because generally we aren't thinking about losing and what to do if you lose. We generally taught to focus on winning and winning and winning and that mindset will generally drain your pockets. You need to focus on protecting your capital, keeping what you already have and only exposing to the market what you're able to handle to lose. Because that's the only thing you can control. You can't control how much you win, but you can control how much you lose. So that's, that's the ultimate thing you need to be in control of. So let's get into the charts today, see where we're at. Hopefully I'll be able to get in some trades. I think I was in two yesterday as far as the competition. And we'll see if we can get into any more. Well, I will. I guess I will be getting into more as long as the candles look right. So let's go look. All right, SPX 500. Let's see where we're at. Right now we have a bullish candle, but if it could flip around in the next three hours, that would definitely look really, really good for a sell. I mean, outside of the, I mean, right now it looks good for a sell. You've had all of these bullish candles going up and now you finally have one bear candle. It's, it's very likely, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and start right now. I'm not even gonna wait. Um, how do I do drawing tools down here? Okay, usually it's done on uh, um, my computer. And so I just need to put this on there someplace, even though I can't see a darn thing because my, uh, my bar's in the way. So let's zoom in. And good gracious, where's the stop loss? There we go. Come back up here. So, not to say I'm trying to call tops or anything like that, but uh, let's call this the top. Why not? Okay, now how do I place the trade? Push and hold, create limit order. There we go. Um, do, 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 do. How many. 11 units is the max I can do on this one. Okay, go back to the chart. So we got 11 units. Whoa, not 911. There we go. And we're doing market order. Stop loss, take profit. I know that take profit's huge, but who cares? All right, we're in it. We're in it right there. Stop loss is up there. Take profits way down there there'll be a thousand dollar trade okay i don't care okay so that's set up what do we got next this one so you look at that and you might go that's an indecision candle and i'm probably gonna go yeah i'm gonna stick with that even though that top wick is bigger than the bottom one um I'm gonna go with that. I would like to see a, a, a stronger bodied close than that one. So let's skip that one for now. Whoop, way too far. The JP225. Um, the candle before it was indecision, the next candle after it, I'm gonna say is a sell, so we're gonna take it. I will be putting, let's see, we don't have much of a stop loss on that, or a, a wick on the top on that one, so I'm going to come just a little bit, oh my goodness, I don't know whose car that is, create limit order here, 
What is JP225? One. I can trade a max of one. Market. Sell. All right. There we go. Um, I guess I could have just done it the other way, but that's fine. There's gold. Gold. We're at nothing. Okay. Let's look at that candle. Am I currently convinced that it's going to go up? No. The only thing that leads credibility to the fact that it might go up is the three previous candles. Maybe. But that's not what I got. So, no. Skipping that one. Silver. Silver? Yeah, I'm taking that one. Let's go. Where are we at? Right here. Come here. Stop loss a little bit below that candle. Take profit up there. 1 to 1.3. Close enough. Take it. How many can I take max here? Whoop, stop that. Watch list. Silver, 600. 600 units. Uh, market buy, cool. There we go. What are we down to next? Oil. Oh, not convinced. Gonna st skip away from oil. Natural gas. Natural gas, I'm still in. Oh, so I guess... I guess one of the other ones closed out. I just don't know which one it was. So that's where we're at with natural gas. It's still just channeling on up. We'll see where that one goes. Can I see my broker? There's paper trading. And I just got into that one. So I just got into natural gas. So I have no idea what actually just clo what closed over the evening time. Um, it would have to be one of these other ones. Maybe it was oil. That one looks like it hit a while ago mm, could have been gold that one looks like it hit a while ago same thing with that one same thing with SPX 500 yeah so maybe maybe it was gold so yeah we'll see how everything pans out now so unfortunately I cannot record right now but it looks like SPX 500 DE30, JP225 Gold, and West Texas Oil are all going to be buys for this next four-hour candle. So here we go with the trades at the end of the day. It's getting late. I think it's like, I don't know, it's like almost 10-something. But SPX500 going up. We are just steadily climbing. That's where that one's sitting at. DE30, it's above break even, so we'll see. JP225, also above break even, so we'll see how that one goes as well. Gold, hovering at break even. Silver, uh, got so close to take profit, then it started to turn around, but who knows, maybe it's a small little pullback before the continuation. West Texas Oil did not. As soon as I got in, it is rolling over. Is it part of a downtrend that's starting? I don't know. Is it going to continue this long uptrend? I don't know. Who cares? We'll see. And natural gas, final one. Still just doing nothing. Going sideways, but it's still steadily making higher highs and higher lows as it gets up there. So you know what? We'll, it's just going to continue going, and we'll see how everything pans out. I don't know how everything is going to play out. And frankly, I don't know how everything plays out in my own personal trading, but I know that in the long term, I have been profitable. And so if I just continue doing what I'm doing, eventually I'll make it. Long term. First trade might lose, second trade might lose, even third and fourth trade might lose. But continue coming back to the charts, continue just doing the grind over and over again, and eventually, eventually I know I'll be profitable. That's what you got to get. Yeah, you got to get beyond just looking at individual trades as success markers because that's not how it works. This is a numbers game where you're playing the long term. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So if you're in it, keep going. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, you can drop them right here on the YouTube channel. You can come over to Discord. We can talk there. Either way, I do wish success for everybody who 
tries to do this. Uh, even if you aren't successful in actually making money, I think you would learn something about yourself as well as some other things that you might be able to use to help better your life, whether that is discipline, patience, um, some psychological aspect that you learn about yourself or just about human nature in general. I think you would learn, you'll do, you'll do good. So look forward to continue going day 10, look tomorrow's day 11 numbers counting. And, uh, yeah, let's just see where things take us. You guys have a blessed night. Bye.